on this truck, you're gonna have a locking tailgate. Mm -hmm. So when you use your remote to lock it, so does your tailgate. When you unlock it, it locks with the truck. Okay. Now on the key fob itself, you have a little lever you can slide over and pull the key out. This is actually gonna be used to lock the tailgate by hand and also unlock it. This also works on your driver door to get into the vehicle if the battery wants to die on the truck. Okay. Uh, the access to your spare tire through this little hole right here. And all your, your uh, tools for your spare tire are located under the passenger seat. Slide this cover right over here. There's all your tools to get into your to the lift the And in the back seat, it's going to have a funnel right down there under the seat. And what this is used for is if you need to get diesel fuel with the gas can, it has a capless fuel system. You're going to use this to slide in if you have to use a gas can. If not, it unlocks automatically, so you have to worry about it. There's also where you add your diesel exhaust fluid as well. Also located in the back, you're going to have your subwoofer on the Laramie. This is also a cargo tray. That flips out and folds over, and it goes on both sides. Okay. Also on this truck's going to have the floor storage. This slide up. The liners come out. This is also the hitch adapter for a class 4 hitch. Okay. How many speakers total is in here? Uh, I believe um, it is 12. 12. Then do you know uh, how many watts of power? It I did not off hand. I know. Okay. How long does the key fob last? The key fob battery or the? Yeah, the battery is. And you mentioned earlier that the you can take the key out because the fob may die. Well, not the fob. If the uh, battery's in the truck, it will die. Oh, okay. That's how you get in. Uh, the key fob batteries will last as long as you keep. So, Probably a year to two years. It depends on how much you drive the truck and leave the truck open with the key inside. If you leave the key inside the truck, it'll keep transmitting and the battery will die. Okay. Uh, these die a little bit faster than your traditional keys because they're passive entry. When you approach the vehicle, they open the doors. Okay. But it still takes a standard CR22. It, it, exactly. It's not like, exactly. okay. Nothing, nothing special. Um, in the glove box here, you're going to have, for the tailgate, if you were to remove your tailgate, go on back here. Since this has the backup camera and the locking tailgate, you pop this cap off here and you remove the body plug. When you do so there, this plug will plug into the body plug. Okay. And this cover will cover this hole. Gotcha. Okay. This also has the fifth wheel prep group where you can buy the fifth wheel attachment from our service department. And then you also have the plug in for your fifth wheel if you were to use one. Also has front and rear parking sensors, which is what these sensors are in the rear. It has sensors back here and also on the front of the truck. And it also has a cargo camera, which is on the third brake light. It has a camera, so when you're backing up with your fifth wheel, you can actually view where you're going. Pretty cool. How about um, uh, blind spot sensors? Anything like that? Uh, no, this does not have that because okay. it has the tow mirrors, so oh, it doesn't okay. have. The yeah. sensors for that. Makes sense. Heated and cooled front and rear seats? Uh, yes. Let we'll me double check for that. Here. Yeah, so it has air conditioned front seats and heated. And also the rear, the rear side seats are heated in the rear. Okay. And the controls for that are right here on the center console. Right down here, you'll see the buttons. Right. Each side. And there's that key back for you. Yep. Put the play on really quick and then we'll continue.